daylight. One of the things that I enjoy about fall is that you begin to feel it in the air and you can sense that there's something changing, that there's a development, that there's less of that hot, dry, maybe very intense heat that though we still have it in the daytime, in the morning you can still feel that kind of like hint that there's coming a change, that something is going to be developing and that fall is on the way. God in our lives does much the same thing is that we don't often listen to as well as we should or pay attention to as much as we could the little hints that God gives us that something's going to change in our life or in our relationships or even in our own personal devotions or development. And it's not like God suddenly springs it upon you and says, oh, we're going to devastate you or we're going to let this big trial come or some situation, but rather he does gently, believe it or not, give you hints along the way that yes, there's a difference going on, that there's a change about to happen. And the way he does that lots of times is through devotion, through your time alone that you spend with him, through emotion of sharing your heart with him every day as you learn to walk with him daily, as you talk with him all through your day, but as you also learn to be aware of him throughout your day. Because God is there. God is in you and he's working with you and he's working through you to touch the areas of your life that you haven't given over to him yet, but that you yield to him in a way that he takes and makes into something beautiful that you can look at and say, wow, look at what the Lord has done. And that's what God wants to do in our life every day, from the moment we wake up, even while we're asleep, to the moment we go and lay our heads down, that all through the day and all through the night, we should be mindful of Him and seek to be aware of the changes that He's bringing in our life, because one day, the greatest change of all will happen. We call it death, but really it's just a change from one existence of the physical realm to the spiritual realm where God dwells. In daily life, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. He shall strengthen your heart. Hast thou not known and hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, creator of the ends of the earth, faints not, neither is weary? He that giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Fear thou not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen you, yea, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Thou hast been a strength to the poor and a strength to the needy in distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. The, the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Often, at different times, everyone goes through doubts and challenges and changes. We all go through times of feeling down or up or tired or weak or whatever it may be. We're needing a shave, we're needing a shower, you know, and getting all cleaned up, and getting all spiffy and shiny, and looking all sublime. But we also need times where we just, ugh, you know, don't feel so, mm. and yet the Lord says, I know you don't, so don't worry about it. It's okay, because through your day, through the pace that I set for you, I will bring you joy, I will be your joy, I will be your strength, I will be the God who sees, hears, and meets you where you are. And it's okay to be that. So today, if you don't feel 100%, don't worry, before the day's over, you will. Give it to God. Just be real with Him and honest every day, and you'll see that your day will turn around, and He'll make you the way that He wants you to be. 
He makes me to lie down in green pastures. The wicked are like the troubled sea, when it cannot rest. There is no peace, saith God, to the wicked. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest in the Lord. He that is entered into his rest, he has also ceased from his own works. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace. That we be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of man and cunning craftiness, whereby they lay in wait to deceive, but speaking the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting table, and his banner over me was love. It's easy for me to see how easy it is for everyone to get involved in everything that distracts from growing in grace and replacing it with growing at a pace of frustration and angst and anxiety that people seem to get carried away in that they think that they are doing something righteous when the fruit of it isn't peace, love, or joy. So if you see that you're getting stuck in some kind of rut where it's always about politics or division or strife or making some other ministry righteous or doing some other thing that makes everyone else seem wrong and you right, it might be time to take a rest. It might be time to step back away from it all, to lay it down for a few minutes and rest at the feet of Jesus. Because everyone knows how to be Martha, but you know how to be Mary. Everyone wants to think that they will be still and wait on the Lord, but until we do, you'll never know what joy there is in just being aware of His presence instead of doing what you think is right, because you can do it in the strength of your mind, and you've been given this power and authority, but the real realization of why you were given that power or authority was to know Him in a more personal and intimate way. So today, seek the Lord. Seek to be still. Seek to walk with Him. Seek to be calm, quiet, and alone with your God today. Because He loves you. And He likes it that way. <laughs>